Hey y'all, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes and I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise, okay? Um, I have my random deck that I'm gonna be using. We're gonna just pull and see what comes out. Right now we're gonna be doing Leo. So if you're a Leo, represent yourself. Don't forget to press that there like button. Tappity tap, tap, tap. Let go. Let's go, Leo. I don't have any intuitive messages as I'm thinking right now, Leo. <laughs> Actually, I'm lying. I'm hearing, um, it's just my pimp juice, baby. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing pimp juice. Okay, so are you a pimp? I feel like you have a lot of options. Or I'm hearing keep your options open. You're going to receive a lot of options in dating. Okay, so I feel like, okay, if you're a single Leo, okay, I, I see a lot of I see a lot of love potentials coming into you, okay? You may I'm hearing Leo, you're juggling right now, okay? Two people, you have two people. I'm hearing make up your mind, Leo. Make up your mind. Okay, which one do you want? You can't keep juggling. Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for Leo? What does the random deck have to say to Leo, my king, my queen, Leo? I'm just going to say this for whoever needs it. It's not for everybody, but I heard, Leo, you are a king. You are a queen. Carry yourself as such, okay? I feel like the reason why that is a message for someone specifically is because you tend to be very loud, bodacious, and dramatic, okay? Queens are, king and queens are not any of these things. They're very... Um, composed, they're very structured, they're very militant, okay? So I feel like that's something that you need to practice, your kingly ship, your queenly ship, okay? How to control your your bodacious personality, all right? I feel like I feel like your bodacious personality is something that like is kind of annoying or it stands out too much amongst people. Like calm down a little bit, but moving on. Can I get a card please for Leo? What does the random deck have to say to Leo? Leo please Leo, what does a random deck have to say to Leo? L-E-O. Your name actually may be Leo. I feel like someone here is a Leo with the with um a zodiac sign named Leo. So hi Leo. Can I get one card, please, for Leo? What does a random deck have to say to Leo? You hear that bing? Bing a boom boom boom. Can I get one card, please, for Leo? Make it one card and one card only for Leo. Sun, moon, rising. Okay. It says, looking for a new job because I am over this one. Okay, so that's very self-explanatory, okay? I feel like you hate your job. If you hate your job, it's time to look for a new one. And you get up every single day and you feel miserable to go there. Some of you guys are actually at work right now and you hate this job. You're over it. I'm getting used today for as a day to look for a new job. There's plenty of places hiring, okay? I feel like... I feel like um, I feel like some of you guys need to start working on your credit or start paying back those loans that you have, okay? I feel like I feel like Leo, you're in severe debt right now, okay? So especially you may need to pick up a second job so you can work on these things, your credit or your debt. Or if you're in this if you're you have a job, it's not paying you enough. You need to start looking somewhere else so you can start settling all of these student loans and debts and bad credit, okay? I feel like you're I feel like you're undervalued and underpaid at your job. I'm actually getting literally start looking for a new job because I feel like I feel like I feel like there may be a, a situation where you're where you're going to get let go or laid off or something like that. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the Devil card. Yeah. Yeah, a major restriction in regards to work. Three of Pentacles, yeah. So I'm getting three weeks from now, you're going to be let go, Leo. This could be even be three days. I'm getting people at your job don't like you. They don't like you or this Capricorn doesn't like you. Or this earth sign. Especially if, you're, especially if your boss is a Virgo or a Capricorn, they don't like you. They make your work hard for you. They, I, I'm, I don't know. I feel like someone here either um, messes with your hours, or 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 something like that. They're being, they're restricting you. You need to go find a new job. I feel like you're dealing with a a a, a demon at work. Literally, the devil. I feel like everybody at your job is toxic as fuck. I feel like you need to take yourself out. Of this environment, Leo, it's not working for you. I, I feel like that's why you don't fit in. That's why you don't like this job. That's why you can't shine like the king and queen you are. You're misunderstood here. Because this, this job is restrictive. This job, this job is not for you. Three of Pentacles. Nobody even, yeah, seven, ten of wands. 
I feel like also all the workload is on you. I'm going to stick firm in saying you're undervalued and underpaid. And this large company, they have the money to pay you. I feel like they don't even promote you or they don't want to promote you or fighting for a promotion is really hard. It's time to let it go, especially if you've been there for like, I feel like someone here has been at a job for a year or three years. It's time. I feel like every day you get up and you're like, man, I want to fucking go here. I hate this place. But I feel like you keep this job because obviously you're maybe you're working on your, your loans and your credit and you you need this job to pay your rent. You don't you don't I feel like you're single. And if you're not single, I feel like this job is supporting your 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 relationship and your everyday mundane needs like i feel like but it's not enough i feel like you're, if you are in a relationship whoever you're in a relationship they're not they're not even they can't help you they're not helping you yeah five of five of five of pentacles you could do bad by your damn self the devil card so it's definitely time to do uh, to look into other careers or something different okay can i get a card please yeah i feel like someone i feel like someone at your job if this could be your boss your manager or something like that i'm also getting like they they fuck around with your hours if you're a leo that does not um pay attention to your hours Let, let's say you just like you clock in but you don't write down your hours i feel like they're 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 not even giving you all your money king of swords this person is smart at, at, at causing confusion in your life at work now you could be let's just talk about a relationship this person is like a job they're like a nine to five they I, I feel like you have to put a lot of time in this in this, a lot of time and energy in this relationship and this person is stubborn they're stubborn they're full of chaos and confusion they like to argue it's time to move on. It's time to look for someone else. It's time to do something else. I feel like you're dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. It's time to do the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Let them go. I feel like you keep holding on to someone basing off of uh, how am I going to let them go because I, I need them to help me with this and that and the third. That's codependency. I feel like something is plaguing your mental state right now, Leo. You keep thinking about it over and over and over and over. It's time to just act. Stop thinking about it. No more thinking. Just do. Take action. If you're in a relationship, I don't even see you're married to somebody. So why the fuck are you putting so much time and effort into it? If this is a job, you're, never, you're not going to get the shit that you want out of it. They're going to keep restricting you or coming up with reasons why you can't get this promotion or this raise or whatever. Bounce. But do it professionally. Find something new. And then when you leave, be articulate. Be serious. Be direct. Don't be spiteful. But let them know exactly how you feel. So when you walk away, there's no there's no confusion. There's no if ends, I wonders, nothing like that. Is this you, Leo? Are you the are you the one that's causing confusion? Are you the one that's out here um, lying and and and? And, and causing confusion and chaos with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Because I feel like possibly you are, like I said earlier when I walked in here, I keep hearing the song Pimp Juice. You have a lot of options. Seven of Cups. You sleeping with a lot of people or you, you're promiscuous with a lot of people. But if you're dealing with a Scorpio or an air sign like a Libra... This person, this person doesn't stay around for the bullshit. They don't stick around for the games. They will cut you off cold turkey.
You could even be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like a Capricorn will cut you off cold turkey with no words said. So don't play games with them. Don't play games with them. I feel like the Capricorn is actually dangerous, okay? Motherfucker is dangerous. All right? Now, this person could do something to hurt you or their words are sharp. All right? So don't play around with them. If you got options, if you're not serious about being in a committed relationship or whatever this is, bounce. That's what I got for you.